Welcome to Implementing Analytics Webcast Series. This on how to avoid dashboard dangers to gain insights. Brought to you by the JPK Group and Aurora Predictions. Some introductions. JPK is best practice educational forums and discussions to help individuals and organizations conquer challenges with actionable and practical solutions, as well as open up new professional opportunities. Aurora is like Excel, big data, and artificial intelligence all in one to enable CFOs to solve their number one anxiety, making their quarterly revenue target and impacting growth. Now to our webcast. Dashboard dangers. Dashboards can offer insights into operations, but can lead to false positives and false negative indicators. False indicators result in non-optimal or wrong decisions on the allocation of resources. Will this good trend continue? What decision would you make if it will or will not? Here, Western Region Demand has a positive trend. The decision would be to increase inventory. But without analytical predictions, is this a good decision? If we look at the result in the following month, as the future unfolds, it was a false positive, and now there will be excess inventory. Therefore, only knowing the past is insufficient to make decisions about the future. But visualizing the past can teach us insights about operations not available in spreadsheet reports. Let's explore three examples. Visualize trends versus point comparison reports, dimensional discovery versus spreadsheet tabs, and areas of operational overview. Point report versus visual trend. In this P&L report, it shows a good year-over-year -year trend in net sales, which is up over 8%. But this is only a point in time and potentially misleading. Financial dashboard gives the trend across time to give insights about the past that a point in time report can't. The 8% growth in net sales is actually caused by weak sales nine months earlier, and the overall trend of sales is downward. So net sales trend is not as good as the report showed us. Tabs versus discovery. Spreadsheets are dimensionally limited, showing only a point in space and time, thus requiring many tabs to drill down on the state of operations whereas dashboards can visualize multiple dimensions and trends simultaneously for better insights. An operational overview. Dashboards can be assembled into a coordinated overview of an operational area, here supply chain, to triangulate on strengths and weaknesses. For example, inventory turnover trend is weakening, as is social media growth. Finally, a note of caution on KPIs of no value. KPIs are of value when it affects operational decisions. Therefore, ask yourself if the KPI affects my decision. If the answer is no, then you don't need it. For example, seemingly important KPIs here, but have limited trend and high level data. Therefore, they have no effect for daily store operational decisions. Now, one more thing I'd like to show you is a different type of dashboard, a predictive dashboard, or something we call a lights board. Now, a lights board starts with a drill path, and a drill path is an intelligent way to organize a segmentation of data. And the data we're going to be looking at here is a data from a manufacturer of consumer packaged goods. So here we see that the data is first organized into what's called product categories. And then from the product categories within that, we have product lines. And then within a product line, we have individual products. So let's start with the product category preparation. And now let's explore the lights board. And what we're going to consider is the data of units. So what we want to look at is the units sold 
in the product category of preparation. Now if we come to the middle gauge, we can see that on a year-over-year -year basis, uh, we're doing extremely well. We're over 110% of uh, unit sales this year as compared to last year. And if we slide over here and we look at how we're doing against plan, we're also 110% over plan on a year-to-date basis. Now, normally that's where um, all visualization stops, but a, a predictive dashboard takes it another step further. So in the product category of preparation, while our year-over-year -year trend is exceptionally good, the stoplight is a prediction of the future direction of the trend. And in this case, it's a red light saying that it's going to go down. So what we have is a good trend predicted to go down. We can also look at the year-to-date value which of the uh, sales versus plan, which we said was very good. But if we now forecast forward to the end of the year, we see that we're going to fall short of plan by the red spotlight of 7.99%. So now we have a different way of looking at data, and because we can see predictions, we can ask and make uh, different decisions. And again, we can come in here now and say, well, let's look at the product lines within the product category and see what's contributing to the future problems. Well, if we click on the product line classic, we see that this is not contributing contributing to the problem uh, going forward because not only is this a good trend, it's predicted to get better. Now on a year-to-date basis, while again we're well ahead of plan, we're predicted to fall short of plan by year's end. But we can also check the quarter just by clicking quarter and we can see on a quarter-to-date basis we're slightly behind um, our plan but by the end of the quarter we are expected to exceed plan by 9.7%. So with a lights board, we can see the past, present, and get a prediction into the future. Uh, and whether it's by a product or a product line or a product category, we can point and click and now have different ways of viewing our data to make better decisions. So the conclusion is that dashboards, if only the past, can have false negatives and false positives that can lead to wrong decisions. Therefore, use these dashboards to learn insights about the past not contained in static reports and for an enlightened story of operations. Before we leave, we'd like to invite you to an Implementing Analytics Summit coming up in Chicago in September, a two and a half day summit. It's going to be outstanding. It's a university boot camp with structured tracks to implementing analytics in your company. And the tracks will have workshops. And a great workshop is going to be bring your data workshop. See how uh, analytics and a variety of software provides insights and foresights with your data. Uh, you'll also be able to build your own path, develop the budget, the schedule, the story to implement analytics in your company. And you're going to build community. Uh, not only will you have training together for two and a half days, but you'll have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There'll be entertainments, and you're going to be making lasting connections on your development path to business partnering. We'd also like to enjoin you to help us and advise us on the syllabus of the summit. It's one hour a month for three months. And if you're interested, please email paul.rogers at jpkgroupsummits.com. And if you have questions about this webcast, please contact me, Robert Zorling. I'm the managing director of Aurora Predictions. Thank you for your participation.